So in this next part of the chapter, we're going to be using differentiation to solve some problems. So my differentiation is a rate. So velocity, for example, is the rate of change of speed over time. It's how quickly something speed is changing. So that's the change in speed over the change in time. So you differentiate the dis displacement with respect to time. So if you're given an equation for S, when you differentiate, you get an equation for V. Likewise, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity against time. Acceleration is how quickly something's velocity is changing. So if you've got velocity, if you differentiate that with respect to time, you get acceleration. So if you start off with velocity, no, sorry, if you start off with displacement, and you differentiate it, you get velocity. If you differentiate it again, you get acceleration, D S V A. So we'll remember it as DVA, D for distance, displacement, DVA, SVA. You need to remember that order. Displacement differentiates to velocity, differentiates to acceleration. So what that does mean, if you've got an equation for displacement and you differentiate it twice, you get acceleration. So D2S dt squared. Okay, let's look at example and example four. Right, so as particle P is moving on the x-axis, after time t, the displacement is given by x, so this is displacement, so s, x, same thing in this case, t to the power of 4, minus 32t, plus 12. Well, the velocity when t equals 3, the value of t for which is at rest when the velocity is zero, and the acceleration when t is 1.5. So remember, this is s. So if we differentiate it, we get velocity. So if we differentiate it, dx dt, remember how we differentiate you times by the power, reduce the power by one. Power one times by the power, reduce the power by one, t to the zero, which is one, so it just goes to minus 32. And when you differentiate any number, it goes to zero. Um, and it wanted the velocity when t equals 3. So when t equals 3, the velocity, this is the velocity, it's going to be 4 times 3 cubed is 27, minus 32, is that 54, 108 minus 32, which is 76 meters per second. Um, okay, B. B asks for the value, say value this time, not values, for t, which is a p, is at rest. So it's at rest when the velocity is zero. So we've got 4t cubed minus 32 equals zero, 4t cubed equals 32, t cubed equals eight, t equals the cube root of eight, which is two, and only the positive value of two. C. The acceleration of p when t equals 1.5. So we've got displacement, we differentiate to get velocity, we differentiate it again to get acceleration. So I need to differentiate this times by the power of 12, reduce the power by 1, 2. When you differentiate 32, it goes to 0. So it's just 12t squared. So when t equals 1.5, we've got 12 times 3 over 2 squared is 12 times 9 over 4. 12 over 4 is 3 times 9 is 27 meters per second per second. Well that was the only example before exercise 11b. So if you crack on with that now.